So when competitive Call of Duty switched over to PC, I figured I needed any advantage I could get because I'm pretty ass and I switched as well. But I was used to streaming off of a PS4 with an HD60 and then just a shitty streaming PC. And I figured I needed to upgrade it and I wanted to stream a game at the same time. So what better decision to do than to just go ahead and get a second PC so I can take the load off of my gaming PC, put it onto my streaming one and just take care of it that way now anyone that knows me knows i have horrible luck with electronics i go through the troubleshooting ringer and nothing that i do ever works out flawlessly for me i will follow step-by-step -step instructions from someone and it won't work somebody will do exactly what i say and it will work for them so i was pulling my hair out for about eight hours on a saturday and I finally figured out the most simple, intuitive way to set up a dual streaming PC setup with an Elgato HD60. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do so. So just a disclaimer, before we start, you are going to need two microphones unless you want to spend your money on a microphone splitter. It's not necessary to get a splitter. It's going to be cheaper on you to just get a second microphone. And most of you that are in the same boat as me probably already have one of these on your a40 and your streaming pc mic so you can figure this out it's pretty easy let me show you how to do it okay so we're gonna break this into three parts first being the hardware second being the gaming pc setup and third being the streaming pc setup now i want to let you guys know like i said i have that really bad luck with computers and every time that i've tried recording this video for the past month as soon as i change something or unplug something it messes everything up that's how tedious this setup is trust me if you follow the steps that i'm going to give you you will be able to figure it out it is super easy and when you identify a problem it's a very very brief process to figure out what is causing said problem and what is the solution to the problem and if you guys ever have questions you can either comment down below or tweet at me on twitter at john graceless but without further ado let's go ahead and hop into the hardware of this Okay, so like I said, I'm not going to be unplugging or pulling anything apart, but I'm going to show you what I'm working with here, and you guys will be able to get the gist, and I just, I really need to play the safe bet here, guys. I've tried unplugging everything, I've tried changing the settings so I can walk you through step by step by step. It just goes wrong for me, but I'll be able to help you guys. Regardless, let's hop into this. So this is going to be my gaming computer up top, and that's going to be my streaming computer down below. Uh, I have my camera flipped so I can't even see. But down here is the Rats Nest of Chords, and then that's up there is my Elgato. So let me go ahead and pull this down here. So there's only one side that matters on the Elgato. This is the out. You don't need to put anything on the out. Only thing you need to worry about is the inside. And that sounded weird. Uh, so the HDMI on the in goes to your gaming computer, and the mini USB goes to your streaming computer okay pretty simple setup and then you obviously want to take your a40 mix amp plug that into your gaming computer you want to take this usb switcher which i'll link down in the description below it's not necessary you can go with a two keyboard to my setup i don't like fucking with that this is like 15 bucks super simple you just plug one usb into one computer one in the other keyboard mouse that's simple then I've got obviously my streaming mic plugged into my streaming computer and then uh, just a display cable going from my streaming computer into a well, streaming monitor into my streaming computer and then going from monitor to gaming computer. Super simple. I've got this set up. It's not that big of a deal. You don't have to worry about that. That's just TV. Hello. But that's pretty much it for the hardware and then you've obviously got your astros here i've got a c90 if you want to worry about your c90 plug that into your streaming computer if you are curious and if you want to look at a cool mouse pad like mine even though it's dirty go to the mouse pad company they got a cool shit and this thing is fucking massive now let's go ahead and hop into the gaming computer Okay, so the first thing you want to do over on your gaming computer is open up your monitor's control panel. If you have a Radeon, it's going to be a little different, but this is just my NVIDIA control panel. Easy way to access it. Just right click on your home screen, go to there. If you have a Radeon, it's a little bit different. Uh, I'm sure you guys can figure it out. 
Now, first thing that you want to keep in mind is your Elgato, when it is connected, is going to be seen in your computer as a second monitor. So your gaming computer is essentially going to have two monitors, and then your streaming computer is only going to have one monitor. Keep this in mind, so it's going to make it a little bit easier for you to think about how it works. So if you have it wrong, your setup here, this refresh rate will be capped like this at 60 hertz or whatever it would be. But you obviously want your main monitor to be the number one and your Elgato to be number two so you can get your whole 144 hertz, 200, whatever you have. And the easy way to do that, set up multiple displays and you'll see it here. Elgato two, your monitor one. If it's not, you can switch it around. Pretty easy to do. Now, like I said, I'm not going to be messing with anything because it fucks me up every time. I'm playing the safe bet here. I apologize if it confuses any of you. Like I said, if you have comments, I will be helping anyone because I understand the confusion that can be. So you're going to see two squares here. One is going to say one, one is going to say two. So you're going to want to go ahead and clone them. Okay, clone with, and then it, you want your clone source to be one, and then you want to extend. Okay, so you see here, oh shit, well, I didn't mean to extend. So you see here, one, two, you want the star to be on your one, and two to be on your second. Clone with two, you'll see it joins like this, and then clone source one. If it's clone source two, it'll cap the hertz on the Elgato's hertz. You don't want that, you want your monitors full hertz. Make sure it's clone source with one. Then, uh, let's just do no. Then you'll be able to see up here, pretty easy. You don't have to do anything further else in the NVIDIA control panel. Next, we wanna go into our display settings on our Windows computer, and we're going to want to duplicate one and two. Obviously, one is still gonna be your main monitor, and two is gonna be your Elgato. So to do that, you wanna go down here, duplicate these displays. Super easy to do. And then you'll see it up here, one and two. Super easy. Next, we're gonna wanna go into our sound. And this is automatically going to set to speakers Elgato sound capture when you get everything set up. So don't worry too much about this. Your input going to put on your microphone. Super simple. You'll see everything down here. And then you wanna go into our control panel. So if you don't know how to access your sound control panel, um, just to write down here, super easy. So you want to make your pro voice, your default communication device. And then this, it will be a default, but it won't be the default device. Okay. This is default device. This is default communication device. Makes a big difference. Keep that in mind. Next, you want to make sure that all of this is just how it is here. You know, some things will be a little different for you guys. Take it with a grain of salt. Nothing too much else to worry about in here. And then you want to go over to our recording. These two will probably be checked and you want to make sure that this is enabled. If you don't see it here, you're just going to want to have to right click, show disabled devices, and then you're going to go ahead and you'll see enable on this. You don't want to make it your default or anything, but you want to go into your properties. You want to go to listen, listen to this device, and then make it your, yeah. And then make it your Elgato. It'll say NVIDIA high definition audio, whatever. Make it that super simple to do. Nothing else really to worry about in here. Now, the only thing that I saw in one of the other videos that I don't know how much of a difference it makes. I know the guy was saying in Fortnite, you can't hear game chat unless you do this. So I have it. If it makes that big of a difference, just try it. But go into your properties on your pro voice on your headset and then go to spatial sound and put it on Windows Sonic for headphones. Uh, evidently that changes something. I don't exactly know what, sorry that I'm putting it in this video and I don't exactly know what I'm talking about. I am not a professional, I'm just a troubleshooter. I'm trying to help you guys. So, next you wanna go into your Elgato sound capture, keep in mind, still on the gaming computer. And then you're gonna wanna change this, make sure it's on PC gaming, change this to your headset, earphones, Pro voice and then your output to your Elgato NVIDIA. Okay, this is a big step here. Big step. 
Next, you want to just double check in whatever communication software you're using, such as Discord or TeamSpeak, that you have it set up this way. Your input being your microphone on your headset, obviously, and your output being your auto sound capture. If that causes any problems, go ahead, mess with it in here, but you'll be able to figure out why it's not going through. So there's pretty much nothing else that we've got to do on the gaming PC. So let's go ahead and hop over to the streaming PC. And that's just going to be a pretty simple switch. Now let me go ahead and I've got to add this on over here. So let's just do display capture. Okay, so we're going to see everything over here. Not too big of a deal. I'm just going to disable the preview so it doesn't mess anything up. And first thing we want to do is go into our Elgato sound capture and make sure we turn that off on. Keep in mind, this is the gaming computer. Keep in mind, this is the streaming computer. We want to make sure that it is off. I know I have similar backgrounds, but they are different. I promise. Okay, so then we want to go into our Elgato. We want to go into our gear tool, put on PC. Doesn't really matter. I've seen some people use PS4. Not that big of a deal. Make sure the audio is on HDMI audio. We don't want it on analog. That'll make things pretty shitty. This is however you want to do it. This is just going to be do 1080. Uh, if you want to do 720, you can. It's going to downscale. You don't want to do allow 60 FPS unless you're a big streamer. You're not really going to be streaming at 60 FPS. Like I said, it's going to be 720, 60 FPS, but 1080 downscale to 720 is going to look better. Make sure this is unchecked and this is checked. I don't know how much of a difference this makes, but I know that it does make some of a difference somehow, some way. Nothing else you really got to do over here. And then we're just going to go into our OBS and this is pretty much where most of the rest of everything happens. So you're going to see over here, the video capture device, that's going to be our Gato. Look, if I switch devices, you'll see, I see audio switch back. See, uh, that's the Elgato audio. And then this right here is my microphone that I'm talking into, obviously. And up here, you don't really have to worry about this. This is just messed up. It's just the way I did it. So first thing you want to do, go to your advanced audio properties, make sure that you're rocking good. Some people with different Elgatos may have to mess with your sync offset. That is going to be on you guys. Typically, that's going to be about 350, 650 milliseconds, something in that ballpark. I just changed mine to zero. I'm still experimenting with it, but this is all on you guys, not too big of an issue. So then you're just gonna, gonna go into your settings, go into your audio, and then make your microphone. Now this says voice meter output. It just says voice meter because I was following a tutorial that had us downloading voice meter. You don't have to worry about voice meter banana. That is irrelevant, but that's just what it comes through as for some reason. So make sure that your initial microphone is your Elgato sound capture. And I mean, that's not that big of a difference. Not that big of a deal. I mean, uh, and then mic two is just your HyperX Quadcast. Obviously, you're not really going to be worrying about this because I'm pretty sure we're just using the sound capture through the video capture device. But that's besides the point. Like I said, just playing the safe bet here. We just want to help you guys. Next, obviously, you don't have to mess with anything in here, nothing in your output, nothing crazy going on. And then you would just set up your capture card as usual. You know, do whatever you guys want to do. Um, nothing special that you've got going on here. And you're pretty much set up and good to go. Now, like I said, if you guys have any questions, please don't be scared to let me know down in the comment section below. I know things probably got a little bit confusing because I didn't unhook and I didn't reset everything up. So if you guys feel like you're missing something that I didn't cover, like I said, either tweet at me at John Graceless or comment down below and I will do my best to help any way that I can. And I hope that this helped you guys. So if you did, please make sure to leave a like if this helped you guys in any way, shape or form, figure out any of the problems that you're going through with your dual PC setup. Make sure to let me know however you please. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and please stay safe. I'm out.